Welcome back to part three of our Canva hack series. Get ready to unlock even more design secrets and take your creations to the next level. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Angelina, the social media manager at Grayson Enterprises. With a passion for creativity and a knack for design, I specialize in crafting visually captivating content. Canva has a great feature where you can generate QR codes right in the platform. How you can do this is on the side, you're gonna go to apps and then you're gonna scroll down and look for QR codes. Once you find it and select it, you're going to paste your URL or type it in. You can then hit generate code and it will automatically create a file image on your document. Canva also allows you to change the foreground and the background color so you can use this if you're creating something like a flyer where you need it to be a certain brand color. Using a QR code is a great way to make it easy for your audience to access their link without having to type it in because all they had to do is open up their camera and scan it. Using rulers, guides, and margins is a great way to make sure that your final design project looks very professional and polished. To access these settings, you're going to go under File, View Settings, and Show Ruler and Guides. And you'll see at the top that it'll show you. And you can see it is based on your document size. So if you zoom in, you'll see that the numbers get more precise, and as you zoom out, they become less precise. Add guides, you're going to do the same. You're going to go to File, View Settings, and then Add Guides, and it'll pop up a little setting. So you can choose how many columns, if you want a grid, or you can customize it, and it'll give you different dimensions. For margins, same process. You're going to go to File, View Settings, and then Show Margins, and then you'll see that it'll show a little outline for you. And this is where you want to try to contain most of your important content. My favorite trick when I'm trying to maintain a certain brand aesthetic is to use Duotone in Canva. So this is an image filter. So I was working on this birthday post last week for our feed and you can see there are these blue elements that don't really go with the Grayson Enterprise brand. So how I went about fixing this is I would click on the image and then go to edit photo. Under filters, you're going to scroll and you're going to look for the filter called Duotone. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different color options here that you can go ahead and use if you think they fit right. But what's great about it is you can actually go and change the colors of the highlights and the shadows. So I'm just going ahead and pasting in our pink from our brand guide. And then you'll see that it changes the colors of the image. You can also change the intensity if you want to keep some of that original image colors in the photos. But I'm just going to leave it as all pink. If you have Canva Pro, there's a good feature that you can use to resize your files. For instance, I've created this Instagram post that I want to reuse on our Instagram story. So all you have to do is go to the top where it says magic switch and you'll see there's a resize and it'll give you different dimensions and some are preset. There are also, you can also go ahead and create your own custom size. I'm just going to go with the preset because I'm creating it for an Instagram story. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that and continue. You can see two options, so one is to copy and resize or resize this design which is going to take this current file and resize it for you. I'm going to go ahead and copy and resize and then open your story. So this is going to open the file in a new tab for you. Typically Canva does a good job but there are some times when you might need to play around and fix up the file just a little bit to make it more towards your liking and to fit the new dimensions. Lastly, design accessibility is really important. So Canva has built-in tools to help you make sure that your design is accessible. Under File, you're going to go to View Settings and check Design Accessibility. And you're going to see it has three categories, Typography, Color, Contrast, and Alt Text. The blue dots are indicating the issues with the accessibility, so you can go ahead and click that and it'll tell you the reason. So in this case, this one is the small text size is an issue and makes it really difficult to read. So we can just like crank up the font size until you'll see that it disappears, meaning that it's good. Also just go to the different categories that they have. So let's go to color contrast and there are four issues and it's low contrast text. So as you can see when you're far away, it's really hard to read. Even close up, it's hard to read the white on the pink. So you can go ahead and select it and then we'll change the colors to something darker. So you can see if I play around with like this gold color, you'll see it's still an issue. If I go with this blue color, also still an issue. Go to black and you'll see the issue is fixed. The last category is alternative text. So this is adding a certain type of text to your images that describe what the content and the context of the image is for people with lower vision and blindness. So you're going to go to an image and you're just going to right click and go down to where it says alternative text. 
it's gonna open up a text box for you to type in or it'll offer a suggestion. So using Canvas AI, it'll type it up. It's not perfect, so you may need to tweak it a little bit, but it does a pretty good job. I don't need to describe everything. There are certain aspects that are just there for visuals. So say the sparkle, you're gonna right click and then you're gonna mark it as decorative. So you can go ahead and do this wherever you see other issues in your Canva file. I hope you found these Canva tricks helpful and let us know down below in the comments what kind of tricks you'd like to see more in Canva.